Irish fans, we're here at the Legends Golf Tournament up in Bridgman, Michigan, the annual fundraiser for the charitable foundations of coaches Holtz, Kelly, and Parsegian. And Coach Holtz brought a little auction item here. Coach, talk about this. I think where it first started was uh, we were doing final verdict, and I made some comment about Notre Dame would be in the national championship game, and Mark said, well, if that happens, I uh, will put on the leprechaun suit. And lo and behold, I didn't think anything about it, but obviously an awful lot of people remember that Mark being the great sport, he, he put on, I tell you, it cost us a lot of money because that suit's a little bigger than our leprechaun. <laughs> When you just saw this, we didn't tell you we were going to do this. I know this is still under your skin a little bit. It, it is, but it's all in jest. Uh, I was even in North Carolina at a tournament a few days ago, and someone brought this up and said, you know, I'd like to get a picture of you in that leprechaun suit. I said, you can go on the Internet. I'm sure it's all over the place because Notre Dame fans will never let me forget. No, I, I did a little Internet search last night. You guys might be surprised how many threads there are out there that ask the question, do Lou Holtz and Mark May like each other? What's the answer? No, no, I seriously, he's one of the great people you will ever find. I also, he's just probably one of the smartest. What people don't realize, we don't have a teleprompter, we don't have a script, and we don't have a rehearsal. When you hear names and stats, and he's unbelievable at it, but he's just a good, solid. We have a difference of opinion. He was a coach, I was a player. He made suggestions, I made decisions. He showered after work, I showered before work. Uh, you know, it just, uh, it's just a little bit different. Describe how your relationship developed with Lip. Uh, actually, the first day Trev Elberts came in and got fired on a Saturday, just walked off the set. And they told Coach, come out over and just sit next to Mark. Just sit there for the day and don't say anything. So we were going on throughout the day, and I said something about Notre Dame or something, and he just got tensed and braced. And I said something about South Carolina, he got tensed, and he just couldn't sit there anymore, and he just went off. And from that point on, we just it's been, what, about eight, eight years, years now? It's been, been yeah. eight years now, but I tell you, we have a great relationship, and Reese Davis, the three of us. For example, if somebody's going to go to the CAF, they'll bring somebody else up, never take any money, anything else. Uh, he, he's just a good person. The fact that he went to Pitt, interpretation, couldn't get into Notre Dame, but I don't think you have to hold that against him. I got to give you the last word. Well, the thing is, on Saturdays, we have so much fun, and I think our group is such a tight knit group. We've got a group that's special, and it's not like any other group in television or broadcasting. We're on television from 11 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the morning. So it's the longest day in television broadcasting, no matter if sports or non-sports. And the thing about it is we're so close that we don't have to rehearse or anything like that, like the coach said. And we can be without each other on television for four or five months, but all of a sudden, as soon as we get together and sit in the chair, it clicks again. And that's one of the things that, that the chemistry that the three of us have together because we're so good together and we're having a lot of fun all the time. Even though we take shots at each other, yeah, we like each other, yeah, we love each other, but people don't realize that. But when we have a firm opinion and a strong opinion, we're not going to back off. And I know a few years ago when you came here the first time, you weren't quite sure what to expect. I know you're I here for a in, in the yeah. trunk of the car. But I know everybody here really embraced you, and I mean, you were almost taken a little bit aback by the support you got from all the Notre Dame fans here. Absolutely, and that's one thing that I realize. There's some fans that really take it to heart, and there's some fans that are really nasty about it, and there's some fans that really take it to heart that are really intelligent about it, and Notre Dame fans are the ones that are really intelligent about it. They're very passionate about their football team, but they understand football, and they understand what you do on television. It's not personal. It's business, and if you back it up by stats and facts and you know what you're talking about, they get it and they realize what's going on. Hey Coach, I know golf series business for you. How is his golf game? He hits a long way. Uh, we, we've been to Augusta a couple of times. It, but he's a good competitor. He, he hits a long ways, and uh, he's he just a little bit inconsistent. I think it's sort of the same way with his thinking. Oh, it's yeah. called a little bit inconsistent. <laughs> as you can tell, as long as... The time, time's brilliant. The time's brilliant. But other times... <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> It is going to be a fun day here at Lost Dunes. Lots of auction items as well, but I think this one is the one everybody's going to be talking about. With Lou Holtz and Mark May, I'm Jack Nolan, UND.com. Oh.